Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys. If you have a car, you need to remove oxygen sensor. It's stuck or you don't know what tool to use, how to get to it because it's very limited room. Stay with us and we'll explain all that today. Make sure you stay until the end. We'll share something very important and number one mistake that we weren't here at the shop. Now, uh, before we start guys, if you need to buy the tools that we'll be using, parts, anything like that, oxygen sensor, check out the link in the description of the video below guys. We share it for your convenience that way you can see where we get all our tools and parts from number two every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos and why we do that because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you so with that being said guys let us show you how what we're going to do we will explain on upstream oxygen sensors upstream oxygen sensors they're the one before the catalytic converter and you often have downstream oxygen sensors they're the one after the catalytic converter usually the ones before the catalytic converter go out more often because they're exposed to more heat actually and they're the one responsible for fuel and air mixture and they're super super important for the normal operation of your engine and i'll share something very important as we go uh, the downstream oxygen sensors usually guys they monitor if the catalytic converter of your car is doing its job that being said, let me tell you one thing guys, check this channel out, this is our second channel, Electrical Car Repair Life. On this channel we have helped millions of people guys and we have information that can save you thousands of dollars on uh, car diagnostics, repairs, uh, engine light, codes, transmission codes, things like that guys. So, for instance now we will de demonstrate on this BMW how to get to the oxygen sensor, check it out, very limited room, we cannot get a wrench or anything that, like that to remove it. But People invented a special tube, guys, and that special tube, okay, let me just get it loose. It's called oxygen sensor removal tube. This thing is very inexpensive and it makes your wife so, so much easier, guys, believe me. Due to the fact that it's heavy duty, it, we, we were not able to break that thing three years here in the shop. It's side cut where the wires for the sensors go through. And uh, it makes life so easy because uh, it's actually very small too, you can see. So it's not long like a wrench. And we'll show you guys how we use it. So we usually put it on extension. It really depends on your car. It may be sideways. You may not need extensions. We're going to go through the wires of the sensor. Perfect. Now we come down and check it out now, guys. Okay, we have it right there. Perfect. Now, okay, all that being said, let me show you with a great detail. We're going to get a big extension. Often, guys, you may need to use a breaker bar because these sensors will be stuck really back time or uh, they will not be removed for a while, guys. So, go ahead, grab it, okay, and... Okay, let's see if we can get it out with, without a big breaker bar. Yep, we did. We were able to do that. And the moment, usually, guys, you get them loose, they start turning by hand okay they start turning by hand check it out now you're going to grab your wires and you're going to twist and remove with them but i want to explain something guys once we remove it we have used aftermarket oxygen sensors in the past and i'll tell you one thing guys i wasn't so happy every time i used them due to the fact that we know this increased fuel consumption number two guys what we what happened we noticed that the car wasn't running correctly they didn't last as long or the engine light was still on even if the sensor was working so sometimes they worked fine but not always and since then i learned my mistake i always buy original sensors and if you want to see where we get ours from check out the link in the description of the video below hopefully guys the video will be helpful if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time